What's up, nerds? It's your boy, the OG GM. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. It's the fifth day of October 2022. It's about 70 degrees and hazy here at Site B, and it's Yom Kippur, the Jewish New Year, the time to close the book on the year and open a new one. Forgive everybody who has sinned against you and ask God for forgiveness for your sins. So, Happy New Year to all my Jewish friends. Anyways, moving on to a completely unrelated topic. It's time to take a look at all the crowdfunding Kickstarter type things that are coming to an end this week. Um, including links for the ones that I think are worth your time and effort. Uh, all these are coming to an end, but you still have a chance to support them. Supporting Kickstarters are a great way to help small press publications get seen in the world. And uh, let's just a reminder that the number one tabletop role-playing game Kickstarter of all time was Avatar. Not Dungeons and Dragons. All right. From ninth level games, we have Venture Society role-playing game using the Powered by Polymorph system. This is a core rulebook. $60 is the most popular pledge that gets you the physical boss set plus PDFs plus VTT packs. Not bad. It's an all-age RPG, RPG designed by educators to use fun gaming system to keep young players engaged using the Polymorph system. Um, so, yeah. If you want to know more about the Polymorph system, we can post a link to it. It's a pretty simple D20-type um, OSR game. Uh, it uses some alternate stats and stuff like that it's pretty cool i've heard good things about it i've never had a chance to play it yet has anybody had a chance to play anything powered by the polymorph i know it's been making the rounds at the conventions if you have let me know uh link down below from pirate gonzalez games oh right you win this week's name uh prize for best name company maybe i should actually start doing a actual prize for best name company of the week or at least a video about them yeah that's it i could i could do something we have bacon no i'm sorry beacon beacon the role-playing game this is an original system most popular pledge is 25 dollars for the pdf and the pod discount coupon on the book in the fantasy world you are the light the literal beacon society looks for when the bad guys attack using the system you'll defend the society shining the light where it's needed Inspired by Lancer, 4th edition D&D, powered by the Apocalypse and Final Fantasy. Uh, it's rare that anyone wears their love of 4E on the hat. So, hey, shout out to them. If you're not familiar with Lancer, it is a giant robot D20 game that I think I know the guy who made it. Or at least I've spoken to him. I'm not sure. And I don't know his real name. I only know his Discord name. So, um... But I'm pretty sure I've talked to the guy who made Lancer on Discord. But unfortunately, I can't tell you his name. Um, but yeah, I know his Discord name. Um, so yeah, this sounds interesting. Uh, I don't know if it's a better name, Beacon or Bacon. Probably Beacon. So yeah, just sounds like a, you know, truly, let's truly be heroes in a grim, dark world type game. Sort of the system like I'm working on. Other than that, I don't know anything about it. From... Erholime, Erholime, is that a word? E H R O N L I M E, Erholine, Erholime, Erholime. I am probably saying that wrong, so I apologize. E H R O L I M E. Um, is that a real world word or a, a, a name? I don't know. Maybe it's just somebody's last name. We have Specters of Brokan, spelled B R O C K E N. This is a no dice, no master system core rulebook. $45 is the most popular pledge. Gets you the PDF and the soft cover of the Book of Specters of Bokan. Is that proper grammar, Book of Specters of? Uh, it tells a very specific type of story about a civil war between friends trained together in an academy who end up on opposite sides of the war. Um... So they're friend a civil a story about a civil friend civil war between two friends who trained together at the academy and are now on opposite sides of the civil war. Why do I feel Google Translate wrote this and it's actually from a different language? It's loosely banned on Firebrands, on Mighty Wheels, and Mobile Suit Gundam, uh, mobile and Mobile Frame Zero. 
Um, all systems I've never heard of. But it's a game about how war impacts friendships and then giant robots. So, yeah, a, a slice of life, Gundam style anime game. Uh, is this from another country? And then whoever posted it did use Google Translate to make it from a different language. AU. AU. That's um, Germany? I don't know. It just reads like it was Google Translated from a different language. From C. Aaron Crater, we have Cathedral of the Undying for Dungeon Crawl Classics. This is an adventure module. It's $30 for the PDF and the print version of the book. It's a Deadly Adventures who, about adventurers who are cursed by a necromancer to keep them alive. Happy Halloween type adventure. Yay. Fun. From Dandelion Games, we have Unnatural Selection for Mutant Crawl Classic and or Dungeon Crawl Classic. This is a $30 source book, which includes the PDF and the print version. Uh, over 60 MCC slash DCC desi designed monsters. Brand new monsters for Dungeon Crawl Classic slash Mutant Crawl Classic. So a lot of weird multi-eye tentacle beasts for your game. And you know, you could use them also for d and I guess. Um... And apparently it's using the old three-ring binder idea. I don't know if you guys remember the Dungeons & Dragons three-ring binder of monsters. Um, man, those were expensive and kind of cool, but also took up a lot of room and ended up just becoming a mess. But does anybody remember them? Yeah. So these guys are using the same idea. From Appendix and Entertainment, we have Gateway to Adventure Trilogy for Old School Essentials slash the OSR. I wonder if that's the same guy, Appendix N. Hmm. I often wonder how many of these people I've actually encountered in R IRL through um, Netflix, you know, through Reddit or Twitter or Discord or here on my YouTube, you know. Uh, if you've got a product that you want me to talk about on my site, you can always send it to me. I will gladly review it. Uh, anyways, it's $80. This is the most popular pledge for the PDF and print version of these books. It's a campaign setting, it looks like, for OSR OSE. Uh, slash introduction to the OSR OSE, thus the name Gateway to Adventure. So if you're looking for a good way to get into the OSR using either the old school essentials or just general D20 type fantasy, this is, could be a good way to do it. From Kilos the Prophecy, we have Kilos the Prophecy, a D&D 5e ap ap apocalypse setting. It's system neutral source book, most popular pledge is 65, for a print PDF and print version of all three books, it's a system-neutral campaign setting that uses D&D 5e. If, you dirt, if you're using D&D 5e, you're not system-neutral. Inspired by The Witcher, Dragon Prince, Shadow and Bone, and apparently every other fantasy thing that has been on Netflix. So basically, inspired by the Netflix fantasy cartoons and live-action stuff. It's a rule system. It's a new rule system, but it's 5e. Uh, where it explores the uh, the world of Black Sun, adventures you can have in the Black Sun, and how to make characters in the world of Black Sun, even though it's called Kalos the Prophecy. Again, did somebody get the blurb for this in another language and then redo it through Google Translate? Because, man, these... These descriptions of these products are really, really going down in quality lately. It just kind of feels like who's ever doing these is sort of getting lazy. So I don't know now. Is the name of the game Kalos the Prophecy or is the name of the game Black Sun and it's from a company called Kalos the Prophecy or is the company named Black Sun? Anyways, it's a 5e D&D &D apocalypse fantasy setting inspired by every fantasy show on Netflix over the past two or three years. So yeah, I'm not sure about that one. I'm kind of going to say no. From Icarus Games, we have Side Quest Annual Number One. This is Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition. Uh, $45 is the most popular pledge. That gets you the PDF and the print version. It's a uh, basically a zine filled with uh, classes, races, monsters, factions, adventures, quests, side quests, that type of thing. $45 does seem a little pricey for a magazine, though. But I don't know. Last time I was at a bookstore, you know, 
Time and People magazine were running pretty expensive, so maybe $45 isn't that pricey for a magazine anymore. From the Crit Academy, we have Exotic Equipment Perks. This is a Dungeons & Dragons source book. It's $15 for the PDF and the book. Apparently, the people who created this feel the weapons and armor in 5e as of today are lackluster. And now they want to give you a whole bunch of new ways to make specific weapons and armor and give benefits and perks for your weapons. Like, you know, serrated. I think I recall D&D trying to do this before and it ended up being really bleh. I don't know. I'm going to say no. From Co Cozy Coven, we have Touched by the Gods role-playing game. This is a Year Zero engine role-playing game. Oh, nice to see somebody using re Year Zero. Uh, $88 is the most popular pledge for the PDF and the print version, plus a GM screed and cards and dice. It's a fantasy RPG about a world covered within a wild, never-ending forest. Within this forest, you have been given a shard of the God's power, and you are power, but it's causing you to lose yourself using the year zero engine in a unique fantasy world of slavic based mythology you have been given a shard of a god's power you are a power but it's causing you to lose yourself touched by god's role-playing game but the cover of the book that they posted says must be a dragon I want to know how much this guy is getting paid, because really the quality of these posts is going down, sir. <sighs> Anyways, that's it for today. Um, my winner for best name of a game company is Pirate Gonzalez Games. Uh, the only ones that sound interesting to me are maybe the OSR Gateway to Adventure Trilogy. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Nothing here really sounds exceptional or stand out. Maybe the Polymorph one. Uh, anyways, check links down below for the things like the Polymorph Society and stuff. If any of these Kickstarter sound like something you want to support, don't listen to me. Make up your own mind. Head over to Kickstarter, links down below, and support them. It's always a great way to support a small press company and get some free stuff. Now, uh, last week we uh, questioned why somebody would say offer you the PDF and POD since, you know, that's pretty much the same thing. Uh, but I got an answer from one of the Kickstarter. Um, so the reason why they offer PDF and print on demand coupons is they understand not, you know, some people don't have the money to order the PDF and the printed game. So they're giving them the option. Here's the PDF. Here's a coupon if you want to get the printed game. Go to drive through or Lulu or whatever. Use this coupon to get a copy of the printed game at a reduced price. So they're just trying to help people out. So that explains it. Uh, thanks for explaining it to me. Uh, that definitely makes a lot of more sense. I understand that not a lot of people are in the financial position to pick up a physical copy of every game they want when they're running like 80 bucks above or above. Blah, 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 blah. 80 bucks or above. Who has technically two degrees in communication and can't speak clearly? This guy. Till next time, I am the OG GM. If you appreciate this nonsense, let me know. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, please take a moment to subscribe, like, share, give the thumbs up, all the usual stuff. And, you know, if you're feeling generous and want to invest in a new company anyways, why don't you buy some of my merch? Links down below. Till next time, see ya.